He was a tiger through and through, a champion forever. The Price, the new world champion. Jim Price always shined like a star. Might be, could be, it's time. The Tigers were the only team he played for from 1967 to 1971. He hit 214 with 18 home runs and 71 RBI wearing the Old English D and became a world champion backing up Bill Freehan in 1968. Thank you, Ernie. I, I'd just like to express uh, from the members of the team how grateful we are to the people of Detroit and the state of Michigan for supporting us like they did. He began his broadcasting career shortly after his playing days. He was in the booth for ESPN's first ever live sports broadcast. It is indeed an honor for us to be here. And worked as the have... analyst for Tigers broadcast, first for Pass Sports, and then as a founding member of the Fox Sports Detroit family, serving as a regular contributor on Tigers <laughs> Weekly. For many, he was known as the Tigers radio voice, teaming with the legendary Ernie Harwell in 1998 until Ernie's retirement in 2002. Until today, he worked alongside Dan Dickerson in the Tigers radio booth, providing a comforting, reassuring voice for the team he loved and loved him back. Wow, he hit it a country mile, left-handed hitter, low ball. A son born with autism inspired Jim to found Jack's Place for Autism. He worked tirelessly to be an advocate and provide philanthropic resources to those impacted by the disability through the nonprofit that will continue to be an enduring part of his legacy. As a player, he proudly wore the tools of ignorance. As a broadcaster, he gave us yellow hammers and buggy whips and an arsenal that kept us connected to the game and spanned generations. Jim Price has left us, gone to a better place, no doubt a nice area. <laughs>